Hey everyone, Garzet Gaming here. I previously put out a video showing off the amazing powers of Exodia Incarnate mixed with the almighty Treasure Panda. You? <laughs> him? He's a panda. You're a panda. Yeah, him. And on that video, one of the comments asked me to go through the combo, and I thought that was a fantastic idea. And on that note as well, I just want to thank everyone in the community for all your support. I was able to tweak the deck and make it even better thanks to some of your card choices. So if you're one of those people and if you come back for more content, give yourself a pat on the back. I really appreciate you. And if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Time to nut up or shut up. All right, all right, all right. Anyways, I'm gonna quit stalling. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so we're gonna have our opening hand, and we got Tomb World, Upstart Goblin, two Mallet, and Obliterate. So we'll go Upstart Goblin, thin the deck, Magical Mallet, get rid of this entire hand. I don't wanna see it, it's annoying me. I want that Treasure Panda. So we get Treasure Panda, I'm gonna thin the deck a little bit more, another Upstart Goblin, and finally summon Panda. He's got no interruption, so what I'm gonna do is summon an Exodia piece, and then link him off for Link Spider. So we're gonna keep doing some more Treasure Panda stuff, summoning an Exodia leg, and then the other leg, and then activate Link Spider. Special summon the Flame Veil Guard in my hand, because I wanna thin the deck. We're gonna go Synchro Summoning into Formula Synchron. This is gonna let us draw one more card. We're gonna get Pot of Avarice, that is huge. So I'm gonna do this Dark Magic Veil, special summoning Exodia piece from my graveyard. We do this first just in case I still need a Treasure Pan on the field and I don't draw into one, which I didn't. So we're gonna go ahead and draw four from Saryuja's Skull Dread, returning three, and then go into Tomb Table of Contents, adding a Tomb Table of Contents. Another one. Going into Tomb Table of Contents, adding a Tomb Table of Contents. Another one. Going into Tomb Table of Contents and, nope, adding Tomb World. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to activate Treasure Panda's effect again. We're just going to try and thin the deck and getting more of our normal monsters out of our graveyard. That way when we go ahead, activate this Pot of Avarice. You draw three additional cards from my deck! Whoa, 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 whoa. That is not what the card does. I that's what, that's what it do, you I That's what it do! What it do. <laughs> Alright, jokes aside, I'm going to summon a leg and then I'm going to summon Flame Veil Guard. The goal is, is I'm trying to Synchro Climb up into Borlode Savage. So first going into Formula Synchron, that way I will be able to draw an additional card from my deck. So I drew into another Treasure Panda, which is actually pretty good. I can special summon a Treasure Panda with Saryu to Skull Dread, and then use the existing one on board and the Skull Dread to go into the Carrier. What this will let me do is target the Exodia Arm, attach Witch of the Black Forest to it, Synchro Summon into Formula Synchron. That way, not only will I be able to draw a card off the Formula Synchron, but when Witch of the Black Forest is sent to the graveyard, I can actually search for... The Unstoppable Exodia! So we're gonna add that to our hand, use Treasure Panda one more time for the one time, summoning the leg to the field before finally Synchro Summoning into Stardust Charged Warrior, giving us one additional draw from our deck. And now it's time to summon Exodia! Exodia, uh, it's not possible! No one's ever been able to call him! Now that we got our win condition on the board, it's time to secure his spot on the field. And we're gonna summon Borlo Savage Dragon. Targeting the Saryu to Skull Dread Dragon in our graveyard, giving him four negates and 4,400 attack points. And now we get to use Triway, summoning three normal monsters from our graveyard. This is an instant plus two, a huge addition to the deck. Finally, using our two Exodia pieces, we're gonna link into IP Mask Arena. That way, on our next turn, we can either go into Appaloosa Bow the Goddess or use Nightmare Unicorn. So right now I'm gonna pause the video and we're just gonna go over what we got on field. We have Borload Savage Dragon with four negates and 4,400 attack points. We have an unstoppable legendary Exodia Incarnate with 3,000 attack points. We have an IP Masquerina to interrupt our opponent with either Appaloosa Bull the Goddess or Nightmare Unicorn. We have Forbidden Droplet in the back row, which will give us a monster negate. And Obliterate, which not only dumps an Exodia piece in their graveyard to give Exodia a thousand point boost, but will also interrupt our opponent by sending that monster back to their hand. 
So that is a huge amount of interruptions for almost any deck to compete with. Let's finally end our turn, give our opponent a chance to play, and see what he's playing. He's playing Drive Again, which means this ain't gonna be easy. I'm gonna chain IP Masquerina, and I'm gonna go for Apollo. I want her and not Unicorn because Tri Brigades rely heavily on monster card effects, which means I'm going to be able to negate a 3 of them with Apollo and I can save my Gorlo Savage Dragon for a spell and trap card to gain, like Tri Brigade Revolt. So the chain will resolve, he'll summon a Karas to the field, Nerva will activate, and I'm going to negate that right away. I don't want him adding any more cards to his hand. His next move is going to be to try and normal summon Kid, but I'm going to obliterate this fool before he gets a chance to use his effect or Link Summon at all. Luckily for him, he has another extender in hand, which lets him special summon the notable from his grave, and he's going to go ahead and then summon into Bear Room. He's going to set two before the battle plays, like a good Duel Links player does, and I'm going to flip up my Forbidden Droplet, cutting his attack points in half, keeping my Appaloosa on the field. He's going to activate Bear Room in the graveyard. I'll negate that with the quickest of ease. I don't want him getting tried to get Volt on the field. Really don't want to deal with that card. Don't want to get banished. Don't want to get this 3,000 attack point beater on the field. F that noise in my turn. So we'll go ahead, we'll draw for turn. I get another obliterate. Who really cares at this point? I'm gonna go battle phase and oh my god, he hard drew into try to get Volt. Yeah, we're gonna negate that too. Sorry, buddy, no charade for you. My monsters aren't getting banished today. You're not getting any monsters back in your graveyard. And what? He had another. This guy hard drew two Tri Brigade Revolts and is still. I'm back. It's without fathom. So, yeah, he's gonna go ahead. He's gonna summon Tri Brigade Jureg. And unfortunately for me, because of the order he picks his chain links in, I'm not gonna be able to negate his Tri Brigade Jureg with my Abelusa, and he's gonna be able to banish my Warlord Savage Dragon. Oh well, easy come, easy go, I guess. I'm gonna attack his charade with my Exodia and set this card face down. Exodia will activate at the end of the turn. I'll grab the head back and I'll end my turn. So we're still sitting at a pretty good spot. I got one negate with Appaloosa and I got an interruption with Obliterate. She's gonna go ahead and use Fractal, sending the kit. The kit will send the Nerval and the Nerval will add nothing. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and hit, he's gonna banish two for Bear Brum, and I'm just gonna send this right back to the deck, buddy, and oh my god, he has... Reborn the monster! This will allow him to special summon Nerva back from the graveyard, and he's gonna go ahead and link summon into Bear Brum. I don't know what the hell he's trying to think he's gonna do with this. Um, Nerva's gonna add to the hand, but yep, I'm gonna just use my last monster negate on that. I do this because I know right now there's absolutely nothing more that this Bear Brum can do. Um, and apparently he knows it too. He's gonna just crash into my Exodia. He's gonna activate his effect to get Try to get Revolt back to hand, but yeah, you just gonna have to send that right back to the deck. So this game is basically over. The turn changes. I'll draw, get Magical Mallet, and I'm just gonna end it this quick. Exodia, obliterate! 5k to the face, and this game is over anyways guys that is how you play this exodia deck i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please remember to like comment and subscribe and if you want to see a deck list for this because i have updated it since my last game please comment down below anyways that's going to do it for today's video everybody gg